Today's feature, we're going to be looking at Bear 2.0. This is a partner news feature that dives into the latest edition and features that an application has released. Today's feature is a sponsored partner news, which will give you an overview of the newer features that has been released. This is not a review. So if you do want to see a review of Bear Notes and other such insights, check out Keep Productive, our channel, or go over to Tool Finder to dig a little bit deeper. So, Bear Notes 2, it was actually released in July, and I was a little bit busy because I was having a baby, um, not me, <laughs> uh, but I was occupied uh, very much with baby Artie. So um, they have released this now and is out in the wild. Um, you can find the links in the description below. Um, but Bear 2 comes with more of a change in the way that the markdown works. Uh, formerly, Bear Notes was an application that um, very much was Markdown focused, but what it didn't do as well was the editing abilities. And they have made a whole host of updates to the editing function in Bear 2.0. So let's go over what's new with Bear 2.0. As I said, the editing ability has made the Markdown much more advanced and much more simplified for those who really think and get scared at the word Markdown. You can do a few different things now, like tables, allowing you to create very simple but practical tables to really enhance a note that you're creating. And that's really something that a lot of people have wanted in Bear Notes for some time. Other stuff, you can also hide Markdown now, which makes Markdown a lot less intense for those who maybe want to use it, but don't necessarily want that intensity of using it. They also have nested styles, which means you can really go into detail on giving bold italics and underlining to each of the words and text in your notes. And you can also now embed GIFs, link previews, and PDF previews, which enhance the multimedia of the note without you necessarily having to see large things on your page and be able to be distracted by that. Now, you've also got um, an improved iOS canvas and sketch function. If you're somebody that's fairly new to Bear Notes, they have this feature where on iOS, if you want to take a little sketch note that has a lot of Apple um, pencil abilities than you can do and it allows you to really enhance a note. Well, they've enhanced that even further and that can be accessed in, as part of this Bear 2.0 and these 20 new features that they've got inside of the new editor experience. Now, in terms of other advancements when it comes to organization, Bear Notes had this feature formerly called the Info Panel, which gave a little bit of insight into where you actually, I guess, how many words you've got, how many characters, etc., which was really helpful. But they've enhanced that now with a new Info Panel that has a table of contents for when you build your note out a bit bigger, which is perfect for being able to see and find stuff much faster. You can also, within a note, backlink it to another note that's in Bear Note, something that a lot of people like when they're linking stuff up across multiple different places inside of Bear Notes. You can also, in the Pro account, you can go and utilize OCR search now. So if you've got any attachments, or images, you can actually search your entire account for them, as you can see. And this is actually something a lot of people like because they can search beyond uh, what is in the note and beyond in much more detail. So if you've scanned something in, or for example, if you've got an image that has some details on it, this is a great way to find all of that. They've also got folding sections within a note, which is great, for example, if you're looking to condense information down in that page and you wanna be able to share it on as well, then you can have all of that inside of your note. Now, in terms of customization, there's been a few changes to the customizations, particularly for pro users, you can change the app icon and also you can change the themes. There's actually, I believe, six more bare themes which will help you to customize your account further and also an improved and upgraded Apple Watch version as well. Now, if, you, if you're on iOS, they've also got an improved keyboard and styling bar as well, which makes accessing uh, the experience much, much easier. And in general, this experience is a lot more enhanced when it comes to the general function of markdown editing and also the features that layer on top of that, which makes Bear Notes uh, in general a much more attractive option for those who are, are taking much more advanced notes, but also bringing them together as well. So that was a little bit of an insight into Bear Notes and some of the features that they have released. If you're interested in it, you can find it linked below. We'll do some more partner news features um, coming up as well to give you insights on what's new in certain applications. So 
Thank you very much to Bear Notes for being a partner new sponsor, and I look forward to seeing whether you like it as well. Again, if you're interested in more of our retrospective looks at these applications in deeper dives, you can check out Keep Productive, or you can jump over on Toolfinder to find much more detail. So that was Bear Notes 2, a new release, an upgraded version, and it's great to see them continue to improve the product. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.